Hi, in this video, I will cover all improvements done in machine control operation. Let me add one machine control operation and I'll just open machine preview. You may know that now MCO job and window is completely resizable, giving you a better overview of the job itself. The first improvements is done on all devices while making the movement. Let me just focus over here where I see the upper turret in the current and last location. It was always possible to put equation based on these variables. So I can just use the current location and you can note that minus 1 to 30 is defined as my last location in machine coordinates. But I can now add the value of 10 and Solicam will calculate this value for me. I can put another value, and so on. Okay, what if I want to edit this equation? Well, SolidCam gives me this option as well. In 2022, SolidCam adds the equation in this list as well, allowing you to set the same thing, clicking OK, and you will see now complete equation, which allows you to at any time change the equation and it will modify the values accordingly. Please take a note that the removing the equal sign here, it will again bring you to the same position as it was before without the equation. Another option available of the user input is through the function. It has effective value through the whole column, so I can just change it over here. I'll click on function and the similar dialog appears as for the equation dialog, but with the difference that expression must include the user input. So let's give here a chance to define, for instance, a diameter input value. So it will be the input value divided by two, or you can also multiply it by 0.5. I can click okay. But instead of machine mode, let me go to the part mode as it has, has much more sense. So I'll just put here 50 and so I can will calculate 50 for the diameter, but real value is actually 25 only. Let me show you another example here. I will go to the standard procedure of the pull part in the process of the part transfer. Over here, we have a pull part value in the absolute coordinates of minus 1332.5. Right, I will open machine preview. I will zoom it here. And this is the last location of the back spindle. So I can go to the current location and you can see the current pick point location. The standard way of doing this was always by putting the equation. So the equation was plus 103.5. 100 is the power plank, three is the cutoff, and 0.5 I want to have it for allowance. I can click OK and I get this value. Now, this was the equation and you need always, you know, manually to, uh, to calculate it. Another way would be to set it up as a function. So let me go to the general. I'll go to the pool, part move, and let me add this value here. I will modify this column to bring me with a function. It will be the user input, current location plus the user input. I'll click OK. And now I can pull out the part relative to the current position. And it will, in the parentheses, it will give me the calculated value of it itself. And the last improvement is done in the message import from the file. So I'll just drag and, drag and drop this. I will go to the message. And now you have an option to import a text file. I'll just click the random file and you have the message there. Please note that this file is not linked to this file any changes performed in the selected file will not change the message inside the MCO. I hope you like this video. See you in the next one.